Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you haven't been here before my name is Lisa and I do a lot of makeup content and I'm a cruelty free YouTuber and if you haven't watched any of my other videos I think I actually <laughs> recommend you to do because I think I'm going to whine today so yeah um, I'm going to do a get ready with me today I think I hope I will see I have my hot cocoa in my boob mug, I have a sweater on, I have an awful hair and an awful angle I think as well. I'm just like out of it today. That wasn't better. I am just like out of it today. I don't know what is wrong. Um, I have so many things. And I have a cat that's trying to come in, but like they can't behave, so they are banned from when I'm filming. So today I'm going to do a little get rid with me, and I am going to. I don't know. I usually don't plan my get ready with me that often and I guess it's showing but today I actually want to talk a little bit about how my no buy is going. I have decided to have a no buy for January, February and March and then I will see so I think when you see this it's the last day in January. I hate that word. Um, and I'm recording this a couple of days earlier. So yeah, my first month of an no-buy. I'm going to talk about. And the palette I'm going to use today is the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess. I haven't used this yet. And I don't know if I want to do a video on this or not, but yeah. The front looks like this and the palette looks like this. So I think I'm going to do something pretty like um, neutral. And if I ever going to do a neutral look, I want to do them in my Get Ready With Me's because I guess you're mostly listening to this and not watch what I'm doing. And today, I've just had a shitty day and uh, should we maybe talk about my no buy? Um, it's actually going great uh, right now. I haven't bought... The only thing I have bought this year uh, for like... It was not even for myself. But it's regarding... Okay, I bought a hand soap. Just put it out there. It's like a paw underneath the door like this. I bought a hand soap and that's not only for me, that's for my boyfriend as well and yeah. That is the only thing I bought that is not food and uh, oh my god this was dark. Um, I guess that, that is good. I thought that I was going to deep this down but I don't think I need to do that. Yeah, so I guess that is good and I actually feel good about this. I have... Um, the freaking Bats palette on the way. Sometimes I guess it will take a couple of months before it will arrive. It hasn't been shipped yet and then I'm going to receive the... Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist collab. So looking forward to that and and I'm getting that in PR so yeah and the freaking bats I bought it in October. So maybe that keeps me from not wanting to buy anything but at the same time I I've talked a lot about that <clears throat> this year I want to use my makeup I already have. I have to stop talking about that but I think 
I'm in such like a filming mood and I'm editing and I'm uploading uh, more than I usually do and I just feel happy to play with the makeup I got and I have done some I did a two looks one palette with a palette that I bought last year that I haven't used that much and it feels really fun so maybe it's because of that I haven't missed buying a new makeup I I have no idea but maybe and it feels really really good so I feel really good about this I hope it will feel good and the whole time when I will have my no buy I really hope because I don't and like FOMO or anything and I'm starting to get better and better from I had a corona or the COVID um, in the end of December and the beginning of now of this year and I'm finally I'm still a little bit like ti more tired than I usually am but other than that I feel good and sometimes like my I can't talk too much because then my voice like it stops and uh, yeah but one thing that I've noticed I have always been really sensitive to like spicy food but after I can eat much not super spicy but more spicy food than I could before and I don't know <laughs> Is that a thing? Um, because when I was sick, I still could feel taste and uh, smells, but it was like... I hope you will understand my explanation. If this is like... Think of like a wheel of food and what it should taste like. So if we take like... whatever and it was like somebody took my taste wheel and like twisted it a little bit so everything tasted a little bit odd the only thing that tasted like it should was ketchup and uh, pasta that was like the only thing and also pesto quite the same but it was like all taste this was a little bit off I still could feel them but it was just a little bit off um, they are not off anymore but now I can eat more spicy food and I actually think I like it I have no idea I don't know if I should talk about anything more I'm planning on with my channel because I don't know if I'm planning that much but I'm going to Try not to be a little bit, not maybe professional, but <laughs> I want to have like an intro and as you see in the beginning of this, I tried like to have a little presentation of myself because I have noticed that when I watch other videos, they like often, hello, my name is <laughs> and I do this and this and I'm like, hello, welcome to a new video and if you never have seen one of my videos you don't know anything about me but it feels so freaking awkward and I okay I you I, I talk about this a lot when I'm doing a get ready with me and I don't know why but I just want to then I leave called that in English um, but I know that some of you that watches me have your own makeup channel and I've talked about growth uh, on my channel from time to time and I I don't want to grow but I still want to grow but I don't want to like lose subscribers and I do it like every now and then when I put up a video I lose subscribers and 
it's not that important to me, but it's always feel like I'm doing something wrong. So <laughs> I've been watching some like these how to grow on YouTube videos and all they talk about is like, not all, but like try to make content that people want to see that are really popular, see what others get for like um, the most it got views and stuff like that. And I am not that kind of person. Like I'm not clickbaiting. I am not doing like these over the top thumbnails because it is not me. I want you to see me how I am as a person. Of course I could do like this crazy thumbnails with more like a clickbaity title, but that is just not who I am. <laughs> right now I think I got like the most simple thumbnails ever, but that is who I am and I kind of like how they look. I want something simple. I don't want a lot of like color and l big letters. I, I do not mind if you do that, but it's not just my style. And I don't want to be someone that I'm not. And I know that that might be why I am not growing or am I not growing because I am a boring person I don't know but I think I could do a lot more to like get views but maybe not I don't know but it feels like I'm not doing it because I'm not that kind of person do I make any sense no and I think the angle today is a little bit wonky like, all of me is a little bit wonky. Like, yesterday at work, it felt like I did forgot my brain at home. I was trying to write a document. Um, and I was going to type it out. And I had to type it out five times before I got it right. And the last thing I noticed when I typed it out was that I have typed my name wrong. Do you get, like, how off I was? It was a little bit better today, but... Um, and I know exactly why, because I... It's the time of the month, and I got like a period brain, and I'm like stupid for a couple of days. Do anybody of you have it? It's like... I'm shut off. I don't like it. And I'm so easily annoyed. And I cry cry a lot for things that I usually do not cry about but and it's now like in all my get ready with me's I do I never know what to talk about and I am I'm really like into doing videos now I mentioned it before but it feels really fun to me now to like sit down and do a makeup look and I love I love that and <laughs> I got a comment that I look so much more happier than I did in December and I do like for me in December I tried to put out 31 videos and it was I didn't thought it was going to be that hard that it was I just <laughs> I like did lose everything I thought was fun with making a video and it was like okay I need to film this today because I have to have video each and every day and it feels so good that it shows on me that I am happier because I am maybe not today but yeah okay, I'm trying to find a brush and I just hope it will continue like this for a long time Hopefully the whole year I'm having a towel behind me if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, I hope this will work or I hope I will have these feelings like for a long time because 
I started my YouTube channel because I wanted, because I like to do this and I was so scared when I felt like a little bit lost and I was actually like, should I maybe not post videos anymore? I didn't came that far. I'm happy for that and it feels good now, but it was just like a time there when I was, I think we all have had those feelings that maybe, maybe this isn't right for me, but I'm happy that I pushed through and I really want to find like my place on YouTube. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll just do what I think is fun. And another thing that I want to talk about, and I, maybe I should save it. No, I can't talk about it now. Um, like, <laughs> I don't know if I can call it makeup shaming, but sometimes when I watch people, and uh, they talk about makeup and they maybe do like collection video and they are like, yeah, I have this makeup and I actually use it and I do makeup each and every day and I actually use my makeup. I've seen quite a lot of people do that and I first when I heard it, I felt a little bit offended because I mostly only do makeup when I'm uh, making a video and I I maybe didn't feel ashamed but it I felt a little bit it felt that they were better than me but at the same time this is my hobby this is something I do for fun I'm not doing makeup because I'm going out I'm not doing makeup for to like go out <laughs> in the world. I'm doing makeup because it makes me think about other things and because it's fun. And like in the mornings, I always feel like people that say that they do this and they fix their hair in the morning because like this is... I never fix my hair before work because I start so early in the morning and I know that people that say like aren't you fixed at work they do not go up at five because they have to be at work at six they go up at five maybe because they are going to fix themselves and can are like going to be at work at eight and I never think you should judge anyone that's only do makeup maybe on YouTube because you don't know why they are doing it. I sometimes see this like a therapy, but maybe not therapy, maybe that was a little bit deep, but like this is my time to relax and to hang out with you and yeah. And okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts and then we are going to do the base. So I changed this set up a little bit. I think this is better. I think this is how I usually have it. I have just put it on my primers. I used High Gloss Primer from NYX and Putty Primer. Uh, poreless Putty Primer from ELF. And now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the Bear With Me from NYX. This is Tinted Skin Wheel and what did I even talk about before? But is it something that you really, really want me to do on my channel this year? Um, I can try to make it happen. I want to kind of continue what I've done. I want to do more multiple looks with palettes. And I am going to do like two looks, one palette instead of three looks, one palette. 
as often as I can. Maybe there is some palettes that I want to do free looks one palette. We will see, but it just take such a long time for me to record them. And then I am, of course, going to do more looks with makeup I already have because that is what my 2021 is going to be. I hope at least. <laughs> there I am using a new eyeshadow palette. And I really, really like this tinted skin wheel. I think it's really, really good. It's not high coverage, so the color works for me. I think it's like a little bit too dark. I know it looks like it's way too light now, but it's just because the camera... The white balance is a little bit off when I put something on, like in front of the camera and also it has to sink in a little bit. But I have it in a pale light. I have really started to like base products and I really want to like buy new base products. That has almost been like the hardest for me to not buy new like foundations. I actually have a sample here on foundation from the body shop, the fresh new. I have the fresh nude concealer. I love this one. And they have a fresh nude foundation. And <laughs> I haven't tested a sample because I don't know if I going to love it that much that I want to buy it and I want to finish up some of my foundations that I have before I buy a new one. And it was like, I got this before I got sick. And I was sick when my no buy started, so yeah. That annoys me a little bit. But maybe that is good if that was like the only thing that annoyed me with my, when I got sick. Okay, so I just want to fix my eyebrows a little bit. I've had this on the whole day. And as normal with my Get Red With Me's. I don't know what to talk about now. Always. All the time. Maybe I should try to be like faster when I do my makeup or my eye makeup. So I don't need to try to come up with things to talk about because I'm so bad at it, apparently. But like my Get Red With Me's, they usually got, goes the best on my channel. They usually have the most views and also like the longest watch, watch time. And maybe you are like me because I love when people do longer like get rid with me's and I can just put them on, do the dishes, have company or maybe like wash my brushes at the same time. I just love that so maybe that's why you love it as well. And I am soon hopefully today but I don't I've talked about doing this for like weeks <laughs> I'm going to order what the hell can it be in English I don't even know the Swedish word for it but like an arm extended arm for my tripod so I can like film from above because if you <laughs> didn't know, if you don't live in Sweden, I guess you don't know. But we finally got Swedish, or we finally got Amazon, Swedish Amazon. Uh, we haven't had that. Uh, I think it came in maybe November, October, November last year. And <laughs> I haven't ordered from there yet. But I'm planning on order like an extended arm so I can film from above and then I am finally going to do my eyeshadow palette collection. I have had a makeup channel for quite a while. I've never done an eyeshadow palette collection. 
but it's always like I'm waiting for another palette and then another palette but now like I'm first I was like okay I want to wait for its freaking baths from shroud but no maybe I can do but you can't do an eyeshadow palette collection too often but I'm just going to order that freaking arm extended arm and it is pretty expensive on uh, Amazon as well, but it's cheaper than to buy it from like a store where they have things like that. And I'm also going to, um, so that I'm going to order and then I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to order some like nail art things that has like nothing to do with my channel but i like to sit down and do nails uh, on me right now i am low i got no inspiration for nails so i just got like a normal nail polish okay all over the place me am i back maybe maybe not and it's going to be a pain in the ass to edit this video. And I know that I'm going to look at myself and be like, what the hell <laughs> is this for kind of a video? But it's me. And I'm also thinking about buying a ring light. Um, first I was like, maybe I should wait until the end of March if I'm going to like if I succeed with my low buy I'm going to like reward myself with the ring light but I actually think that I want to buy it before okay I must say that I really like this palette and I have used mainly this shade and I've used this and this and this a little bit like on my lids and then I used I think it was iris and I really like I really like this I'm not going to be a basic bitch maybe but sometimes you are allowed to do basic looks as this and I was so like intrigued to try this palette even though it's not like my typical palette maybe but I really really love Luna Beauty's formula and this palette is so freaking good I think this was their first 15 pan palette the Greek Goddess and I'm going to say it's actually a really, a really good palette. I think this looks really good and the shadows blended amazing. So now I want to take something in my wash line that is a nice shade. But what is that? I took overboard from Colourpop. So yeah, I'm going to put on my mask. Gora. And I don't go to put, but I look straight because I'm thinking to doing a lip swatching video, so I don't want to put anything on my lips. So I think I would just end this get rid of me here. I hope you got something out of this. I don't know if I got something out of this except for playing with the Greek Goddess palette that I really like. Really good palette. Um, if you like the color story, buy it. I love that I could get it so deep. It was this one that I deepened it down with and I just... I think this is such... I don't know. I just... I just like this. Okay? I do. So, I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. And I usually am maybe a little bit more happy than this. 
or maybe not. Bye!